Welcome to this little video. I would like to give you a quick overview about the new channel editor in the JavaVidia 04 web interface and um, about the Channelpedia project, which is a channel directory you can access from the channel editor. JavaVidia 04 is not out yet, so what you see here is the first alpha version of JavaVidia 04 called JavaVidia 040 Pre 1. This can already be downloaded from our website and installed and tested. This is the welcome page to our web front end. And when we enter the web front end um, and go to settings, then we have a menu item called channels. If we click on that, we get to the channel editor. In the channel editor, you see the TV channels that are currently installed with your Yavidia installation. And uh, these are the three IPTV default channels that we provide you with to have a quick start to be to be able to watch uh, to see a TV picture very quickly after booting uh, Yavidia for the first time. So it's your choice if you leave them in your channel list or if you remove them. Most of the people will probably replace them by their own favorite channels. And um, now the question is. Where do we get the channels from, the channel details that fit your provider somewhere in the world um, that make you be able to watch television or listen to radio stations of your DVB providers. Um, our new approach is to embed the so-called Channelpedia directory in the Yavier uh, web frontend. That means that you can access mm, channel directories, um, channel lists in here, and you can add them to the channel list very easily. I will give you an example. For users from the UK with satellite dishes, um, the satellite at 28.2 degrees east might be very interesting because that's where, where all the uh, UK channels are available. So, for example, the basic BBC channels are, can be found in these two groups and um, we can select the channel and uh, right click and we can say append BBC HD to channels conf and you see that it has been added to the channels conf. So, um, what you see, what the information you get about the channel is the name, the, the type, if it's a radio program or a data channel or a TV channel, the provider string and the source. So if you have different sources and on both sources you can receive the same channel, then this is an indication um, where the channel is being broadcasted on. And um, you can also um, display the raw channels conformant here. That means um, if you want to see all the parameters that are uh, that come with the channel, like BBC HD, and, and this is uh, available from here. But normally the ordinary user is not interested in this kind of information, so this should be sufficient for the ordinary user. So, for example, you want to add more channels. Uh, from the satellite, and uh, but you don't uh, want to have um, chaos in your channels conf. So what you do is you add new groups, group delimiters to make uh, obvious um, which um, channels are IPTV channels and what channels are from the satellite. Uh, let's say UK channels from FreeSat, and um, then you can move the channel group to the appropriate position in your channels conf, and this means that um, when you use your um, Yavidia in the living room and you have your remote control in your hand, you can then jump from one to the next channel group 
by pressing the right arrow key on your remote control or you can jump back from this channel group to the previous one by using the uh, left arrow key on your remote control. Um, this is very handy especially if you have a long channels list and many groups. So that's what we want to use um, in our channels conf. So you can add now more channels for example um, you want BBC 1 HD, you want BBC 2 England, BBC 3, BBC 4, BBC News. Then you would like to add ITV HD and Channel 4 HD. And all these selected channels now can be added to your channel list by choosing the second menu item here from this context menu called Append Check Channels to Channels Conf. And here we are. The channels have been added. And um, this um, Channelpedia directory saves you from doing a manual channel scan. If um, your satellite position or your cable provider is already listed in the Channelpedia. <coughs> the Channelpedia can be extended by new providers and new satellite positions. It's not complete. It's uh, still not a finished project. The Channelpedia project also has a, its own website at channelpedia.javidia.com and there you basically can see the same content which you can access in the web interface but this, these are generated HTML pages. The Channelpedia is not only uh, for displaying channels but also for keeping them up to date in an automated way. So um, some of these satellite positions and cable providers um, listed here, they, um, the channel lists of those providers are regularly being uploaded via HTTP to the Channelpedia. So um, for example, my own video uploads um, uh, the channel lists for these two satellites uh, on a daily basis. And so if the VDR um, itself finds new channels or finds uh, changes in channels, then these will be made uh, available um, via the automatic upload function to Channelpedia. And um, there are rule sets being defined on how the channels are being grouped here in on these pages. These rule sets can be extended if something's missing and then um, Channelpedia will get even better. If you don't find your uh, channel list, your, ch your DVB provider in this Channelpedia list, you uh, can of course do a manual channel scan. That's the old-fashioned way that always works and that will always provide you with a um, up-to-date channel list, but it might take 20 to 30 minutes to scan a satellite position. The tool that you normally would use for this is called WScan. The W stands for Verbal, the, the author of the tool, and it's a command line tool that can be used very easily um, on your VDR um, once you have stopped the VDR uh, server on your machine. And um, this tool is also available in a VDR plugin called Virbalscan plugin. And um, that's very handy because it enables you to execute the WScan tool from the VDR on-screen display via your remote control and start a channel scan from there. That's also possible. But if you're lucky, you will find your, all the channels you need in the Channelpedia. And you can, of course, as you can mix different um, types of um, digital providers like cable and satellite with your VDR, you can also mix the channels of these um, within the web front end of your VDR. 
Another handy feature uh, if you are managing very long channel lists is uh, the clipboard in the YavaDR channel editor. Um, I will give you a quick demo about this. Let's say um, that we can receive two satellite positions. One, uh, one position is the UK satellite Astra uh, 2 and the other one is the Astra 1 with the German channels. Then um, you might want to add some German channels. And um, we can quite quickly add a lot of channels by choosing the name of the group, doing a right click and then say and then we say append public HTTV FTA to channels conf. Now all channels that are in this group were added in one go and we even got a channel group with it so we can delete the German channels channel group later on and the same we do with the, these channels and now you see very quickly we um, get a scroll bar here and um, it's getting more um, difficult to get to maintain an overview about the channel list. So for example if you want to move some of the channels now from one position to another um, and you want to move this channel, this channel and this channel then um, to make it easy to do that um, you can move these channels to the clipboard they will be removed from the channels conf, they are now here in this clipboard and then you can select them again and move them to the position you want them to be. So that's the clipboard in the YavaDR channel editor. And this channel editor is the uh, work of at least three persons in our team and uh, I think they did a really good job in implementing all these features and I hope that it's a helpful tool for you and you will you may still find some bugs in it now because it's still in a, um, an alpha version of YavaDR so um, if you find bugs you can report them to us at bugs.yavaDR.com um, thank you for that and that's it thank you for your patience and um, have fun.